Hi guys, so um, wala akong maisip na content and then nakaubad, nakaubad si teacher. <laughs> wala akong maisip na content and then may bigla akong biglang nag-pop up sa akin na usually kasi ano, <clears throat> minsan pa, ayun, pag yung joke ako ay pumunta dito, magsusulat din sa sa whiteboard ko. And then ako, ang tendency ko is ah uh, and then uh, parang gusto niya gusto niyang tinuturuan ko siya. So I I I, I teach him ano, lightly <laughs> kung ano yung kailangan na ituro sa kanya when yung, kung, mag, kung nagsusulat siya. So, pakita ko sa inyo yung mga sinulat niya. Then, uh, siguro kasi nakorek ko na siya ngayon eh. So, <laughs> yung original na sinulat niya na wala pang correction is na ano na siya. Siyempre nabura na. So, but anyway, let's see kung ano yung correction na ginawa ko. Yun na lang siguro. No? So, ano yung correction na ginawa ko. <clears throat> And so, I will show you first kung ano yung mga sinulat niyang sentences. Mayroon siyang sinulat na ano, uh, mahilig kasi siya mag rather. <laughs> Conditional statement, mayroon siyang ginawa. And then yung uh, statement na mayroon there, ganun. ganun. So, but quite ano actually very useful ano expressions yung sinulat niya. Very ano, very meaningful yung sinulat niya. Pero may konting ano lang, uh, sablay lang sa sa grammar. So, naturuan ko siya ng konti. Anyway, and uh, ispakita ko muna sa inyo bago natin i-ano ha, kung ano yung original ano niya, statement. <clears throat> so, ayan yung mga statements na nabuo. Med medyo man nabura na siya ha, pero buoy natin ulit pag may konting bura. And then, ito, ito yung una. If, yun, ito yung correction ko. If I am silent, means I agree with you. But, silence means I don't agree with uh, your stupidity. May, may your dito na bura na. Stupidity. And then, full stop. And then, ito naman yung isa pa. I, I rather sabi niya yung original niya dan. And then, sinabi ko is I'd rather be silent, yung correction ko, than talk than uh, talk I think that and talk. Okay, yan yung pangalawa. And then pangatlo, um, there are more ways to say than to act. Ayan. And then, action speaks louder. Tapos yung pagkasulit niya dun. Original sabi niya, laughter. Louder than words. Very common expression. So, apat pala na sentences. So, dun tayo sa una. <clears throat> Very informal naman to. Mahilig kasi sa so, nakobad. Nakobad sa teacher. <laughs> Mali mo mag-viral to. Anyway. <laughs> yun. So, we'll see. Kita nyo ba? Yan po yung lighting. Alright. So, ayan nga. Ano, diba? If, ang original niya I think is If I silence means I agree you. Uh, and then, may comma siya. Silence means I don't agree your stupidity. Yan yung original niyang statement. So, first, I, I dealt with, ano, uh, yung, the, the if clause. Okay? Sa if clause tayo. So, medyo, sabla yung pagkagamit niya ng silence dito. So, parang, uh, maybe, uh, akala ng joke ako na ang silence can be a verb there. But, okay, I think, uh, mali yung pagkaka ano niya ng verb pagkakagamit ng silence dito because silence is a noun right so uh, instead of saying if i uh, if i silence medyo subdai siya eh. so if i am silent dapat so we'll change silence to silent adjective form and then we'll need the be verb which is the leading verb so if i am silent we will be using uh, by the way Um, conditional statement with present simple forms kasi we're stating a, uh, a condition that is probable so we're going to use the present form so if I am silent okay means I agree and then agree kasi we have to use a preposition uh, sorry yes preposition with after agree agree with someone right so if I am silent means I agree with you And then comma. Then since you have, uh, <clears throat> if I am silent, means I agree with you. 
If I am silent, mali pa nga eh, may dagdag pa tayo dapat. If I am silent, that means I agree with you. Okay? It should be like that. Okay? So, nasan ba yung ating So, if I am silent, if I am silent, so, dito pa lang pala, mayroon na tayong magubuong conditional statement. So, if I am silent, that means, if I am silent, comma, that means I agree with you. Okay, then full stop. Then, um, ang tendency kasi natin is we want to um, make or make a whole sentence with uh, yung gusto natin ipahate, what we want to express in a sentence all alone. But actually, if you cannot have it in a sentence, then might as well, um, ano na lang, uh, bumuo ka ng maraming sentence as much as possible if, kung, uh, if kailangan mong bumuo ng say, dalawang sentence out of the one sentence that na plano mong gawin. Okay. Katulad nito, hindi naman pwedeng if I am silent, that means I agree with you. Conditional statement na yan eh. Isang buong sentence na yan eh. So, uh, pag ginamitan mo na ng but, although pwede mo naman gamitin ng but, con conjunction. Conjunction but, by the way, can actually connect two sentences. So, meaning, if you connect two sentences, that means you are connecting two clauses. You are converting two sentences into clauses. One is independent, the other one is dependent. So, in that case, possible then. So, pwede rin naman, if I am silent, that means I agree with you. Full stop. And then, bumuho ka na ng other sentence. That's possible. Or, you can convert this as a subordinate clause. Okay? So, as a subordinate clause, you can say, if I am silent, the same pa rin. Ay, hindi. Hindi kasi pwede. Kasi ano siya eh. Meron na siyang... Meron na siyang subordinate clause dito eh. So, talagang you have to actually split this into two sentences. So, that is, if I am silent, that means I agree with you. So, full stop. Then, instead of probably using but, kasi it's very strange to use but at the first part of your sentence. So, instead, gamitan ko sa pang pen. Kasi medyo malapit siya. Kasi labang mo ano. Wala na yung siya siya kung mag-ay. Malish, so, instead of but, we use, what do you think? If you want to start with a contrasting state, uh, if you want to start a conjunction with, that expresses a contrast to the previous idea. So, instead of but, because it's very strange to use but at the first part of your sentence, so you can say however, because however pwede siyang sa first part of your sentence. So, however, comma, silence means I don't agree with your Lagyan ko nang with again kasi agree with someone or agree with yeah with someone stupidity of course full stop so yun na nakabuo na tayo ng dalawang sentences out of this uh, idea niya okay so I hope that's clear let's go to the next one <clears throat> ito naman ang original nabura ko na kasi eh. ang original na pagkakasabi niya is I rather to silent than to talk. Ah, ito yung original. Okay, so, ang ginawa ko is, of course, you cannot say I rather, but you say I'd rather. I would rather means, okay? Hindi pa yung I rather. I'd rather. And then, after that is, of course, a base form of the verb. So, since wala naman kasing verb dito, and then you are using silent as an adjective, then again, you use a linking verb be. In this case, it's in the base form. So, I'd rather be silent than, okay, uh, rather do something than, uh, yeah, rather uh, than talk. Okay, so, walang to, walang to pag, ano, after nung expression na, I'd rather do something than do another thing. Okay, so remove to. So, it is now, I'd rather be silent than talk. I'd rather be silent than talk. Okay, it makes sense. So, you know, minsan, uh, mas maiging, ano lang, saro na lang ang bibig kaysa magsalita. Kasi minsan, uh, pag nagsalita ka, uh, medyo, alam mo yun, minsan nakakasakit, or minsan wala ka ng point, or minsan hindi ka mas sarap ang hindi naitigyan. Okay, and then, the next one is, baba tayo dito, there's have, Sabi dito, there's have many ways to say than to act. So, maraming dapat i-consider. 
<laughs> okay, yung uh, subject verb agreement pa nga dito is there's have, okay? There ang ang gamit niya ay have. I think kung hindi na kailangan gumamit ng have. And then since many ang sabi mo dito, many ways. So there are, not there is. There are many ways. So or there are since you wanted to use a comparative form with than, so pinalitan ko ang many ng more. So there are more ways to say than to act. So mas maraming uh, paraan para i -ex para sabihin ng isang bagay kaysa sa uh, gawin. Ganun daw eh. There are more ways to say than to act. So mas marami daw mas marami daw paraan para sabihin ang isang bagay kaysa sa uh, gawin. So what does actually means ang gusto niya siguro ng sabihin is that uh, ano uh, maraming ang ways maraming ang paraan para i-express uh, para sabihin ng isang bagay pero mas nakakalamang pa rin yung gagawin mo isang bagay kaysa sasabihin mo sa maraming paraan di ba ah. okay so and then the next one is the very common one action speaks louder than words so nagkamali lang siya actually sa <laughs> sa spelling ng louder, sabi niya dito laughter. Ang nasa isip niya, laughter. Which means louder. Action speaks louder than words. Full stop. Ayun, nakabuo tayo. Anyway, I hope you learned something. Anyway, uh, don't forget to hit subscribe and pag kinagaroon ako ng basher kasi nakahubad ako. <laughs> okay. Bye guys.